Yes, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Me and Johnny are in the city centre in the office and we thought we'll do a video about the goalkeeping situation. More on that shortly, but we are sponsors, as you can see, it's over Johnny's face now. Uh, the graphic where you can scan and download the One Football app or if you're on your mobile, there's a link in the description for that. It's a fantastic app. It beeps during the game. I don't know how it's got that signal strength. But it pings when there's a goal scored. So if you're watching the stream, the app will be ahead of the stream. So it's really, really good. So check it out. Link is in the description. But um, I wanted to talk to you about the goalkeeping situation because I want to talk about Ben Foster, Lawrence Carrius, Gillespie not making the squad, Darlow as well. Um, Dubravka leaving as well. Dubravka leaving. First of all, Nick Pope, Pickford's injured. Is he number one for the World Cup? Or do you think Pickford will, because of his experience? If Pickford's fit, Pickford starts. Now, people will obviously debate whether he should be. <coughs> no. So that, Ferdinand's not happy about that. <laughs> he's not happy about that. Um, no, but if, Pickford, if Pickford's fit, he's never really done anything wrong in an England top for Gareth Southgate. And Ferdinand will be thinking, oh, why is Jordan Pickford playing? That's what I'll be thinking as well, uh, Ferdinand. <laughs> but I think it'll be Aaron Ramsdale that'll play the, the, uh, the England games against Germany and Italy. I really Ramsdale? Do. Yeah, he played, he played the games in the summer when Nick Pope was in the squad as well. So I, I, I think that, um, it, unfortunately, because I'd like to see Nick Pope get at least one of those games, he might get one of those games. He might, they might go, we'll give Ramsdale the Germany game and Pope the Italy game or mm. vice versa. But I think Nick Pope, unfortunately, I think he will be going to the World Cup, but I don't think he'll be going uh, as number one, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think Pickford will be, although I don't think Pickford's uh, had a great two years or so, but um, Dubravka obviously left on loan to Manchester United, which was a, a slight surprise. Do you know what it is? It was, actually... a, was, a, was a bad taste, the way he was like... It irritated me, Lee. The way he was like, goodbye Newcastle, but ooh, Manchester United, I'm sat there in a hotel room yeah. watching it, and he was like, ooh, I can't wait to start with the lads, it's a dream in mind, it's like, it's a bit of... Look, Put the knife in a little bit. I don't want to sound like a guy off uh, Sky Sports, but this is Manchester United talking about. Unfortunately, some people will still perceive them as the biggest football club in the world, the biggest club in England. I would argue against that, but I wouldn't be doing any business with Manchester United for a little while after the way they treat us over Jesse Lingard, if I'm being honest. I'd have said, you know what, you can fuck yourselves a little bit. Because for me, Dubravka, yes, he's been a fantastic servant, but I'd be saying you can go anywhere else but Man United. You can, if, like, again, he's sitting on the bench at Man United. But he will play all the cup, and I didn't play. He, the yes, he's not, he's not. Must be injured because he would. He would yeah. at least be on the bench. But again, I understand. He probably thinks, well, if De Gea gets an injury, I'm going to be number one for Man United, and, and that is still a coup. It is, and especially where he, where he comes from. I, I get all that, but I'd be saying to his agent, get me at Leicester. They don't trust that Danny Ward. I could, come in, I could come in as number one at Leicester. Let's be honest, there's not much in it between Newcastle and Leicester. And if you look at the start of the season, I know they've not had the best of starts and we've had a better start. But they've Danny Ward's. Ten years, haven't they? they have. And Danny Ward's not the strongest goalkeeper in the world. You know, Leicester fans are certainly not happy with how he started this season. The Bradford could come in there and you can just kind of relax. But look, I. I, I it's just a, just a little bugbear of mine in terms of my. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So that's Martin Dubravka. Let's talk about. Let's talk with Gillespie. Uh, as we've seen, the 25 man squad. I was a tad surprised it was him. The reason being is because I thought Darlow's injury, Eddie Howe might not select him, but it's the other way around. So that tells me that Darlow's injury isn't serious, first of all. No, it's probably not as serious, but he, he might be out for three or four months. That takes you to Christmas. Like you're saying. You just need to get to November the 12th when Newcastle play Chelsea, uh, which is removed for television now, which I'm sure you'd love to talk about, Lee. Um, no comment. But on, <laughs> saying that to you, out, out, of all the, out of all the TV times, that is actually my favourite, the half five slot, if you're, if you're a Newcastle fan in England, because you literally watch the whole game, the whole, all the rest of the games, you can spend more time at the pub, watch the match, and do whatever you want to do. It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock in Newcastle, it's a good night out on a Saturday. But that's for another reason, for another. That's a different video for a different reason. But um, in all seriousness, just need to get to there. Like it's only just under. It's like seven weeks, eight weeks. Yeah. You just need to get through the next eight weeks. I know there's a few more games, but let's be realistic. Mark Gillespie was never going to play any unless there was a real, real injury crisis. He probably would have played one game at the extreme most. So I, under, I understand the the sympathy for him because I think. He would, everyone would have been thinking because of Carl Darlow's injury he would be number two it just shows that Eddie Howe just does not trust him in any sort of game 
Well, we've seen it, but what was it, the Newport game? Was two that was two years, years ago, that was probably the last appearance. I think it's all over the place, wasn't he? Yeah, but the thing is, though, to his defence, he's if you're only playing one game every two years, you're not exactly going to be... I think he played quite a few. I think he played all the League Cup, didn't he? Yeah, three. I think there's two, there's three games. We played Blackburn, we played Newport, we played somebody else as well, so... I don't, I don't know. It's For me, I and Morecambe, that's what it was, sorry. So, on, on the whole, for me... I can understand it, it's brutal, it's football, it's harsh, but if you go from Nick Pope to Mark Gillespie like that, whew, we don't look we don't look as strong. Yeah, and lucky you, you haven't done himself a glory when he has played in the Cup games and a Steve Bruce, but which is interesting because it came out of the blue, Larius Carius, who is also known to do a few errors, obviously notably he's famous for the Champions League final. Um but also he's done a couple of parallels which hasn't been talked about as much, especially in our comments in the Premier League and Liverpool fans just are really happy that he's off their books. Obviously he went out on loan for two years, I think it was for Schickdass, went out on loan to Germany, barely played four games, came back in Jurgen Klopp last season just didn't give him a squad number, he wasn't even registered in the 25-man squad. We've obviously been talking about Ben Foster in a second because it kind of, kind of matches in with that, but just out of nowhere, isn't it? Um, yes, it was in terms of that because it was kept hush hush that Darlow had an injury. Your famous in the nose didn't know. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. <laughs> See me Twitter for a lot. Um, no, it was loves them oh, just as much as me. That's another video. But anyway, no. Look for me. I, I understand when you hear the name Loris Carius, you think Liverpool versus Real Madrid. You do. Unfortunately, that's something that he'll have to live with. But he's trying to rebuild his career. He probably thinks, well, it's a good opportunity to play with good players in the Premier League at Newcastle. Whether he gets any games, people are looking at that Crystal Palace game. I wouldn't even play him for that. If Nick Pope's fit, I'd play Nick Pope in that Crystal Palace game because Eddie Howe has prioritised, is prioritising the Cups this year. So if that's the case, then you play your strongest team. You play Nick Pope. And I think there's always the argument you can bring Carl Darlow in if he was available, but... Again, I'd probably still want Nick Pope in there. It's one extra game, but it just depends. It depends how Eddie Howe wants to play, I suppose. But uh, look, I, I'm, I'm not massively against that sign. We needed, I think we probably needed a goalkeeper that was probably a little bit better than Mark Gillespie. No disrespect to him, good statement for the club. And not maybe he's never going to be at the same level as Nick Pope, but not not as a massive drop off. Yeah. I think he needs he needs someone you can go. Yeah, if he plays two games, say Nick Pope gets a red card or something like that, which picks up a little niggle, then it's not the end of the world. But look. I'm expecting Norris Carris to play more than two games for Newcastle. No, if he plays one, that's probably the most I expect because he might want to give Nick Pope a, a slight breather or if he has got a slight niggle, but he, on, it's been fine. I think if, if Darla comes back fit, um, I think Darla will be number two and he'll play the cup games. I think Carris will be the third choice. He's, he hasn't kicked a ball for, well, four games in 18 months. That tells you, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's an interesting one because finally I wanted to bring up... Um, Ben Foster, which is again another one just come out of the blue. Uh, it, was, it was really, really interesting. So there was a little teaser put on Ben Foster's YouTube channel. Um, well, I think it was his podcast channel. And the dog's interested. Like, exactly, exactly. The, the dog's the, like, what's going on here? <laughs> the Fozcast. Um, he basically he had an offer from Newcastle and you know listened to his announcement. So when you listen, I've actually watched his, the majority of his uh, of his video about the Newcastle movie. He was, Asked, he was, he was basically his agent rang him up on the Tuesday night when Dar- when Darla got the injury the day before when they found out how long he was going to be out for, and basically he said, "Would you would you come to Newcastle?" And he, and he basically said, "Look, if, if you give us X amount of money a week, I think I like, obviously he didn't say how much it was, but because obviously you'd have to drive to the Midlands, it's like a four hour drive. You can't exactly come down the road. Then he wanted X amount of money to do that. Newcastle said no originally." And then actually said, yes, we'll give you the, everything that you've asked for. So Newcastle were prepared to give him X amount of money to be there till the end of the season. It was actually a nine-month contract until the end of the year, not till Christmas like they've done with Carrius and then re- review it after that. But if it was Ben Foster coming in, I think Newcastle fans would think, actually, that's, that's sensible. Even, yeah, even though Carrius is probably at the same sort of level, if we're being honest. Even though Foster did say at St. Park was an unbelievable... It's his favourite ground. Yeah, it's an unbelievable atmosphere. Uh, as well, so it's interesting when he says his third down wants to jump back up again. Uh, you can see his little ears down there, but um, yeah, so it's an interesting one. Ben Foster, if you want to see more of it, it's on our socials, which happened a few days ago, and it's on uh, his podcast as well. 
Um, but yeah, that is it. That's a goalkeeper chat. I want to know what you lot think, of course, as well. Remember the One Football app. Uh, we'll keep you up to date with all the news. There's still news happening left, right, and centre, even though there's been hardly any football played the last couple of weeks because uh, Manchester Royal, uh, the Queen, passing sadly. But for me and Johnny, see you later, man.